Okay, so many of you continue to make this request and here we are, the all new Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 FE Plus versus the all new Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Plus. Let's go ahead and jump in. First things first, if you are in the market for either one of these two tablets and money is not an issue, then the choice is very simple. Buy the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Plus simply because it's a better tablet, it's a flagship tablet, it has a lot more things than the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 FE Plus here, it's a lot more powerful, better display, better, so many things are better about this tablet. Now, that being said, when it comes down to purchasing a tablet, it's generally not a very black and white you know, type of decision, right? The conversation is always going to be very nuanced, right? It's not all about getting the most powerful. In fact, I preach the opposite, I always preach not getting just the most powerful tablet that you can get, but instead to buy something that's a bit more comprehensive and that can fulfill all of your needs, right? So let's go ahead and break this down. That one thing that I have to warn you about is I will not be going too deep into the specs. I've used these tablets, the Tab S9 S Plus here for the past three months and the Tab S9 FE Plus here for the past month or so, so I have a pretty good idea. I can share some, some pretty good insights that will help you make that purchasing decision. Let's go ahead and start off with just the displays, right? Both tablets are the same size, 12.4 inches. And you know, despite me being able to palm either one of these two here, for the average person with hands, with average size hands, these are very large tablets and you have to keep that in mind. So. 12.4 inches there in terms of display type on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9. Plus here, you have a dynamic AMOLED display as opposed to an IPS display on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 FE Plus. What that means is the display on the Tab S9, the regular Tab S9, plus here is going to be a better display. Things do pop a lot more on it, you know, inky black, inky red, of course you knew I was gonna say that. So the blacks are very, very black and the reds are super red, they really do pop. And that's the reason I say inky red and inky black, right? Also, the refresh rate on the Tab S9 Plus here is up to 120 hertz, essentially meaning how smooth the tablet is going to be. So scrolling through content is smoother here, you know, playing games, watching movies definitely smoother on the Tab S9 Plus as opposed to the Tab S9 FE, but the Tab S9 FE still is a wonderful display. One thing that it has that the Tab S9 Plus doesn't is just how bright it is. It is noticeably brighter than the Tab S9 Plus. And of course, as I mentioned, it's an IPS display. Colors do pop here as well, very vibrant colors, but not to the extent of, you know, an inky black or inky red color that you would find on an AMOLED, on a dynamic AMOLED display here. Now, let me put it this way. If you were to buy either one, you would only have that one and not another one to compare with, right? What I'm trying to say is that if you watch this video and you end up buying the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 FE Plus here, then you won't feel like the display, you know, there's a better display. You will truly enjoy the display on here. Plus, the refresh rate here is not the standard 60 hertz, it is 90 hertz refresh rate. Again, I promise I was gonna stay away from specs, but it is smoother than the average tablet out there when it comes down to scrolling through content, right? Not as smooth as what you would have here because the flagship, you know, on these Tab S, on the S9 Plus here, but definitely smoother than what you would have on the regular tablets out there. And as we continue here, just keep in mind that I will have the links in the description that's gonna take you to the current best deals available on either one of these two. And these are dynamic links, meaning they can take you to either Samsung. And if Samsung doesn't have the best deal, it's just gonna reroute you probably to Best Buy. So make sure to hit the link if you are ready to go ahead and save, or at least if you wanna go ahead and check out the tablets themselves. But anyway, so beyond the colors, let's talk picture quality. It is very sharp on either one of these two, but when you put them side by side, you will notice that, and you pay close attention, right? If you come really close and you really look for it, you will notice that, you know, PPI is a little bit more dense here. So the pixels are a little bit more 
you know, mushed together on the Tab S9 Plus here, and picture quality is slightly sharper than on the S9 FE Plus. But to the naked eye, you really have to be looking for it in order to notice that. So that's as far as the display goes. When it comes down to just the platform, so in terms of performance, I can tell you that the S9 Plus is a better performer, as you would expect, but the S9 FE Plus here is not bad, right? It is loaded with an Exynos chipset, 1380. A lot of people, you know, are not fans of that chipset, but I think it's doing a fantastic job for what it is, for sure. I mean, it's a mid-range tablet and it's handling, you know, light, mid-level and some heavy tasks without any issues. Now, I do have to give you a heads up though. If you go really hard on heavy tasks, it definitely will struggle, meaning the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 FE Plus, you know, is what I mean. It will struggle and it may get a little bit warm too, not in a way where it's concerning, but you know, you feel a little bit, you feel like the tablet on one side is just a little bit warm because it's, you know, overworking. It's not set to be really a productivity tablet, but just giving you that heads up. On the other hand, what you have on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Plus here is a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset it's a much more powerful chipset. So processing power here is way beyond the scope of what you have on the S9 Plus here. So doing things like multitasking, you know, high level productivity, like really, really heavy tasks, you know, on here, on the Tab S9 Plus here, of course, it's a blur. It handles everything it chews through, all heavy tasks like it was nothing. So that's that. Now let's go ahead and talk cameras on the back of the tablets. Of course, that's where you're gonna find the camera arrays. On the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9, the regular one here, you have a 13 and an eight megapixel camera on the back there. Picture quality actually pretty good for a tablet, right? Because tablets are not meant for you to take pictures that you're gonna be posting on Instagram as the best or your favorite picture in the world. But still what you have out of the S9 Plus here is pretty impressive for a tablet. On the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 FE, it looks just like what you have on the regular S9 Plus, but instead of 13 and eight, you have eight and eight megapixels on the back of that S9 FE. Picture quality is not gonna be as good as what you have on the regular S9 Plus. And on the front, you have a 12 megapixel selfie camera on either one of these two tablets. So, you know, when you have, when you're video calling, whether your grandma, friends and things like that, you will be able to take advantage of auto framing where the camera actually tracks you to make sure that it keeps you within frame. So again, overall camera. So when you take just cameras overall, the back and front, better cameras on the S9 Plus, obviously. Now in terms of physical attributes, the Tab S9 FE here has something not found on the S9 Plus, and that is a fingerprint scanner. I should specify a physical fingerprint scanner. On the S9 Plus, you do have an optical fingerprint scanner, but personally, I do prefer physical fingerprint scanners like what we have on the FE here. At the bottom, you have USB Type-C port. On the FE, you have a 2.0 USB Type-C, meaning you cannot push out video signal, which is sad because you had the ability to do so with the previous model, which was of course the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 FE. On the Tab S9 Plus here, you do have that ability to extend your display, meaning whatever you have displayed on here, you can actually push that out. You know, it does have the ability to push out video signal. So that's something that is really good to have there. And finally, of course, still staying with the external, we do have mics, about the same amount of mics there. And most importantly, we have speakers on the S9 Plus here. You have four speakers, a quad setup for the speakers and you have a dual speaker setup on the FE here. Audio quality, I should say, is better on the S9 Plus, simply because you have four speakers. You know, in both cases, speakers were tuned by AKG, but you have more speakers on the Plus here, on the S9 Plus here, and sound quality is fuller and can pound a little bit more than what you have on the FE. I also need to add or to highlight the fact that these two tablets, they're both support water and dust resistant. So they are IP68 rated, right? So if you were to drop either one of these two in a pool of water, you should be fine. Just like I did, right? That will definitely survive. Next thing we're gonna highlight here is going to be the S Pen, the Samsung S Pen. Both do support Samsung S Pens, but on the S9 Plus, you have an active stylus, right? Meaning you will be able to charge that S Pen and be able to tap into those special features available with the active Samsung S Pen, right? So meaning 
like just the air gesture and using this as a shutter, meaning the S Pen as a shutter and during your presentation and all of that good stuff, you will be able to do that with the S Pen on the Tab S9 Plus here, but on the FE, it's not an active pencil, meaning it will work. You will have, you know, the full catalog of features that come, you know, associated with the Samsung S Pen, which by the way, it can do so much compared to other styluses out there. So you get access to all of that. The only thing missing is that, you know, it doesn't charge like what you have on the S9 Plus here. Now I also need to highlight that with the S9 Plus, if you were to, let's say, forget to charge your S Pen, you can still use it. It would just feel like it's downgraded to what the S Pen is like on the S9 FE. But if you were to go ahead and charge it, then you are able to use all of the extra features. Now, I think this is a good time to go ahead and stop the video here, but let's go ahead and close with battery. They have the same size battery, 10,090 milliamp, and battery is better in my user experience on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Plus, simply because the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 there has better management. It's a much more efficient chipset when it comes down to battery management when compared to the 1380 Exynos that we have here. And on top of that, of course, the cooling chamber that you have there, things are just much better on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Plus. So. Going back to my initial point, if money is not an issue, buy the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Plus. If you are on the budget, go for the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 FE Plus. If money is not an issue, but you really don't need any of the extra stuff that comes with the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Plus, then go ahead and buy the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 FE. If you are going to be doing a lot of heavy work, S9 Plus, if you are a student, either one of these should handle your stuff. If you are a small business owner, either one of these should handle that. Now that said, I like to do this in a more tailored way, right? So I would like for you to tell me if you are looking to buy either one of these two, let me know what your situation is in the comment section so that I can go ahead and answer those questions there. So I'm hoping to be able to catch you in that comment section. Let me know what you think of this video here. Hopefully it was informative. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Like the video also and share if you know anyone who would be interested. I'm going to catch you in the comment section like I mentioned. I'm also going to catch you in the next video. Up until that next video, of course, as always, stay safe out there.